in case you confused it with Los Angeles, Tanzania. Single fall, gentlemen. Center of the hall. Come on, tighten it up. Tighten what up? There's only one way to do single file that I'm aware of, and this is a very good representation of it. He passed before you were born, but you had a father. What was his name? Apollo! Oh yeah, well I guess that works too. Especially since you need a dramatic answer to this question that also describes the title character who isn't dead. In case you confused it with Tijuana, North Korea. Since this movie is already over two hours, do we really need to see Adonis' entire ascent up the stairs? Did HBO shoot this fight on film? And it's so pristine after 40 years. What an incredible live broadcast that must have been. Also, you know, it's a Rocky movie when they use footage from a previous Rocky movie to inflate the runtime. Wait a minute, that makes the original Rocky Rocky movie, not a Rocky movie? I've been destroyed by my own logic. You know I ain't training, ain't nobody training you. I'm gonna make sure about that. But why? He's clearly in shape and can fight. And him being Apollo's son would be a marketing and money-making bonanza for everyone involved, even if he didn't do well. Who I gotta put up for? Five seconds of this guy's boxing stats and six seconds of this guy's boxing stats. Also, so begins a slew of Nike product placement with this dude, Creed's undershirt, this guy with a Nike swoosh, and this dude. I'd have knocked you out myself. In case you confused it with, you know what? This movie does this a lot. Here's five cents, mainly because this movie is gonna have so few and that drives me crazy. I wanna talk to you about training me. Training? <laughs> I don't do that stuff no more. Because then we get Rocky Five. So how'd you beat him? Time beat him, time, you know, takes everybody out, it's undefeated. Wait, are you talking about the time you beat him in Rocky Two? Are you talking about the time when Drago killed him in the ring? I could argue neither of those things had anything to do with time, and especially not in the way you just said it. In Rocky Two, I guess you could argue that since you knocked each other down in the 15th, and you were the only one to get up before the count, that time won there. But this is a seriously confusing way to answer the question. How do you know all this? How do you think? Sure, let's give a guy who's been hit in the head more times than a whack-a-mole a guessing game. No, really, I'm sure he can work it out during the 135 minute runtime. No need to get to the story or anything. Who won the third fight? He did. You see how unsatisfying the answer is? Why couldn't this just be kept a secret? The last shot of Rocky III is one of the most magnificent cop-outs ever. But I always thought the point was, did it really matter who won? Adding five cents for this. With a trainer whose father guided icons of the past. Jeez, does everybody need a family connection in this movie? Also, this is the last we'll see of Wood Harris in this movie. Look, if you're gonna give us wood, give us one that lasts for a while. Not the six hour wood, but maybe a good 15 minutes of wood would do. Movie's idea of character development is literally typing it out on the screen. <laughs> Look, this is tremendously convenient for him to see this poster, and it's Thursday, but does he really do a double take because he thinks it's the girl from his apartment? The poster looks nothing like the woman he scolded earlier. So, we oui, that was it? He came by and stalked her and didn't say anything? Cool story, man. I got a few. That's it, guy. As if it were baked into the formula, every Rocky movie goes through this fighter wants a guy to train him, but the trainer doesn't want to face. It's always too dangerous. The trainer is always too old. To move this along, I would have accepted a plot line where Apollo somehow made Rocky promise that if Drago killed him, Rocky would train his illegitimate son if he ever came knocking. And we would have seen the shit out of that, but it'd still be more fun than this I'm not gonna train you, okay, I'll train you nonsense. What if you lose that there, it breaks? It's already up in the cloud. What cloud? What cloud? Old man doesn't understand how new stuff works, cliche. So are you back there drawing this, drawing that? What's a John? It's a noun. Okay. It's like a, see, these is Johns, this is a John. So it's like your version of Smurf? Also, this will be the last time we hear of John, so I'm glad we took a journey down that road. I think we're better people now. I got a residency there, so we're back on Friday. Probably need to get Johnny Brenda's to update their posters then, since it has Bianca listed as being there on Thursdays. You serious? I am serious. This is old school. Yes, we all remember that great moment in the original Rocky when he chased after chickens to build up his speed and hand-eye coordination. After that, it was catching a fly with chopsticks. Classic Rocky. Running, jumping rope, push-ups, pull-ups, montage, excitement. Let me make you an offer that you can't refuse. <laughs> well, now we know that B and Michael B. Jordan doesn't stand for Brando. I'm not saying that for his acting skills, but that Brando impression. Adonis willingly touches Polly's swank magazine. They must have decided to leave out the subplot where Adonis contracts a multitude of STDs and a major staph infection after sleeping in the unwashed Polly bed linens. Let me warm up real quick. Rocky doesn't believe in pulled hammies. At least he's not making Donnie drink four raw eggs or whatever the f he did in that first movie. Silly fighters, you know. I think they're the toughest guys in the world, in a lot of ways. Maybe it's in the water, I don't know. This might explain why their professional sports stadiums come included with jails. This movie montage is so hard, it's a survivor song or two away from being Rocky IV, just before Creed II decided to be Rocky IV. I want him to make a name on his own. Come on, Pete. You know the best way not to bring attention to yourself? Don't go to Philadelphia and have Rocky f***ing Balboa train you. I'm freaking out, okay? I'm freaking out right now, I gotta take a 
Somebody gonna wipe my ass for me? Of all the things to show that Donnie is nervous about his first big fight, this is what you pick? Classy dialogue and in front of his girlfriend, no less. It's about you. Yep. Yep. It's all about you. As long as Sly gets his allotted amount of screen time, that is. This movie is good. It's formulaic as shit because boxing movies have been done to death. But I highly welcome the unbroken shot of this fight. Most directors would want to edit on every punch or two so that the editing does their job for them. But here, we even see Donnie's eye get bloody at a piece of Hollywood magic that is so good I'm removing three cents. <laughs> I see Adonis is taking the rocky approach of the best defense is to get punched a ton in the face and still come out a winner technique. Huh? He's sleep. He old, man. But you do have a bedroom, right? F***ing on your friend's couch is so overrated and such bad form. You got something you want to tell me? I understand Donnie wanting to make a name for himself, but did he really think he'd be able to keep the secret that he's Apollo's son from everybody? Remember, this is a fight involving the number four light heavyweight in the world, a fighter trained by Rocky Balboa himself and big enough to promote with full-size banners. Any boxing writer would have figured this out just like Pete did earlier. Welcome to PTI, boys and girls. Tony Kornheiser. A little history on Apollo Creed. I certainly have him right up there as maybe the best of all time. It's a little weird when they put real sports talk shows in these fictional movies. They obviously talk about real life sports stars like LeBron James and Tiger Woods. So Apollo Creed is maybe the best fighter of all time is a statement that suggests Sugar Ray Robinson, Muhammad Ali, Joe Lewis, and others must have never fought in this world. I found this on next payday. So earlier, Ricky Conlon punched Danny Wheeler and broke his jaw before the fight. So the fight was canceled and Ricky got sued for it. Now the movie is going to say that Donnie is the only boxer Ricky can get good money fighting. Like there aren't any other willing and famous boxers the public would pay tons of money to see. It's also pretty hilarious that Apollo Creed's son is dominating the news cycle as if people deeply care about boxing enough in 2015 to put it on the front page. I've got you as 15 and 0 down there and with this Marino fight that makes you 16 and 0. Now Nobody needs to know these fights were in some hole in the wall. But they will. It's 2015, not 1976. This is about as unbelievable as no one knowing he was Apollo Creed's son up until now. Can't do it. Nah, it's not my name. Plus, I want to make it on my own merit anyway. This whole making it on my own thing is very noble and all, but he kind of already has made it on his own. And because of that, everyone discovered who he was. So the quicker this avenue of the film is retired, the quicker the film gets to greeting. Jesus, did we really need the Rocky Gets Cancer portion of this movie? I know he's old and everything, but can we not move this thing along? It adds seven minutes to this movie, right when it was picking up momentum. This feels like a scene they gave Sylvester Stallone because they felt like they owed him one, even though he was the main character in six other goddamn Rocky movies. This is called Creed, right? Man, forget about Eye of the Tiger. Donnie has eyes of an eagle to see these brochures in Rocky's jacket pocket. And does Donnie seem like the meddling type? Also, father figure tries to hide results of cancer diagnosis, but pamphlets are found in the pockets of his jacket cliche. See that? Hey, good looking baby Creed. Well, call me that. I know this movie sets up Donnie as a kid with a major chip on his shoulder, and despite living in the lap of luxury for more than a decade, he still has this driving anger and need for respect, but come on, this is manufactured tension, when we should already be getting to the pre-title fight montage with footage from all six other Rocky movies for some reason. Get us out of here! Leave! Why does every single movie feel like it has to have a dramatic turning point like this? Would it have mattered if Adonis and Rocky stayed tight the whole film? It would have definitely saved us from having to suffer through soap opera scenes like this. Forgive him, because there's nothing you can do about it. It's taking a toll on you. Rocky ramblings! Then what'd you mean to do, D? Just have a little ego contest? Rocky's sick. Oh, that's why you got in a fight with Tone Trump. Rocky's sick. Man, I take back everything I said. Nah. Also, Adonis won't back down one bit from the Creed name, but throws the cancer card around immediately when he realizes booty might be taken off the table. I mean, what I look like, letting you train me while you sit around and die. I had no idea the seventh movie in a popular boxing series would turn into terms of endearment, but here we are. Typical Rocky montage, now with 100% more cancer scenes. Also, look, I know people might snooze at him watching film and looking for the weaknesses and strengths of his opponent, but surely boxing is more than just sparring, running, doing pull-ups, jumping rope, hitting a speed bag, and getting updates on Rocky's chemotherapy. I think we see one shot of them looking at an iPad in this movie. Good thing Rocky was in that window to see all this because this scene wasn't f***ing cheesy enough. Wow, Bianca's there! What a surprise, said no one who has ever seen a film before. Oh, listen, you guys we, just uh, keep... We know. Like that. Yeah. The likes, yeah. It's important. Rocky has the unreasonable request that if you're in a sexual relationship with Tessa Thompson and or Michael B. Jordan, you somehow can resist having sex with them just because you have the biggest fight of your life coming up. And I'm sorry, Rocky, but we know damn well that this is a vortex of hotness that will wait for no boxing match. Look, I'm not saying an unbroken shot in and of itself deserves a sin off, but the way it builds tension from the quietness of this room to the noise of the arena is goddamn spectacular. And the fact that the camera spins around about six times navigating a difficult path is worth removing another sin. Counterpoint, this track 
tracking shot is very cool, but also makes the movie feel more like a sequel to Snake Eyes than Rocky. So, Sin Counter agrees this is a wash? It's a wash! Here's the case of an unbroken shot that should have been broken. I love how this fight is set up in every way, except for the fact that Donnie and Conlon haven't built up a good, healthy hate for each other. Other than a brief press conference, there is no reason to want Donnie to win, other than simply he's the main character. The way we got here was kind of a mess, with Conlon only becoming the primary villain 38 minutes ago, and a lot of that time was spent on the fault in our stars. The movie rightfully reminds us who the f*** this is, because it's quite possible at least 80% of the audience had forgotten. Max Kellerman, what chance does the young American have? Well, he's got the name, that's why he's here tonight. Max Kellerman now has appeared in two Rocky movies, and that feels like a sin. This is the main event. 12 rounds of boxing for the light heavyweight championship of the world. Wait, does the ring announcer's reverb clear up once it gets broadcast through a television? Nice shorts, boy. Too bad your daddy ain't need to fight in them. That's a weird insult since Apollo would be like 67 and in no shape to fight. They don't know what you've been through, and they sure don't know what we've been through. Good. Skip. Most critics didn't think Creed could make it this far. Do the announcers have nothing else to talk about? Other than Adonis wasn't expected to last more than a round? Kellerman and Lampley can't call a fake fight very well at all. I assure you that even though this punch is in slow motion, Donnie gets knocked down to the canvas and it lasts way longer than 10 seconds. He has time to think about his entire life and choice scenes from the thin red line while he lies on the canvas. Somewhere Jack Dempsey is rolling in his grave. How many fingers? How many Adonis? <sighs> Four. Is it really in your fighter's best interest to tell them the answer when his eye is completely swollen shut and he could end up getting destroyed because of it? Besides, does this finger holder upper guy not see there's no way he can see those fingers? His f***ing lashes look like a zipper track for his eyelids. I want you to go across this ring and knock that son of a bitch down. Can you do it? Sure he can do it. I mean, he hasn't been able to do it with two functioning eyes this whole match, but sure, he can do it with only one eye now. They're trading shots! <laughs> And the kind of back and forth action that most of us didn't expect to see. Except every single person who has ever seen a Rocky movie before. <laughs> Felicia Rashad is so good in this movie, it's a sin she's not in more of it. What a finish! If that round goes another 30 seconds, we may have a new champion. Moral victories. To the winner by split decision, and still the undefeated champion of the great world. Kid. So, it's just the end of Rocky and Rocky Balboa? Exciting ending and all, but something a little different wouldn't have killed anyone. Do you want me to stick this into my heart? Are you nuts? You want to be in somebody's ring? You don't have to call me. Bye, Felicia. What was his name? What the f do you care, Nick Fish? It doesn't f matter what his name was, he's dead. Come on, this career just ain't for me. What are you going to do? I want to dance. Pennsylvania. So are you back there drawing this, drawing that? What's a John? It's a now. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. On your left. Please go the way. Woman. Whoa. Baby Creek. Well, call me that. Don't call you that, don't call you what? Nobody calls me chicken. Oh, you just saw Rocky.